everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Erika and I'm a graphic designer. In today's video, we are going to design a t-shirt. When it comes to passion projects, I really like to skip the briefing part, which is the most essential when it comes to real clients, and see where creativity takes me. Alright, so it's time to come up with some ideas. I like to start by researching the latest trends and designs, and for that, I usually use Pinterest, Instagram, and Behance. Alright, so I think I'm going to go for a fruity t-shirt. I'm not sure yet, but I think I want to go in that direction. Uh, spring just started, but we all want summer to come, so I think it can be fun to create something like that. So it's time to refine the search. We are getting closer to something that I really like. So I'm going to go for a t-shirt with um, a really small uh, drawing in here, in this part. And the bigger design is going to be on the back. I've seen this in many t-shirts and I think it's really cute. I created a pretty basic mood board on Illustrator with these five photos, which are the ones that I like the most. This is mainly because I want to have my favorites all together in case that I need to check them. I left this one aside because I want them to be colorful, but I'm not going to delete it because I I really like the illustration so I'm going to keep it here. Now the next step is going to the Procreate app and make a few sketches and for that I have a template, a t-shirt template that I did like long time ago. It's pretty basic but it works for me. Alright, so it looks like we are getting somewhere. It's now turn to open Photoshop and start designing. But first I'm going to take a few pictures of this papaya or what's left of it. I think it has a beautiful shape. I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to wrap this camera and take a few pictures and see what we got. Alright, so these are the pictures I took. I think they are actually pretty decent. Um, ignore the background please. First let's bring them to Photoshop and see if by removing the background I can do something with them. So um, looks like my screen has not been recorded. Um, I did press the record button but I did not press the stop one. So yeah, nothing was saved. <laughs> this is the point we are right now. This is where I left it yesterday. Um, I vectorized everything. I played with colors, radiance, effects, uh, anything I could think of. Um, this is where we're at right now and this is where we're going to start. This is not going to stop me. So yeah, I guess um, let's move on from here. Uh, as you can see, the fruit itself has a really beautiful texture but the gradient in the papaya word it's cool but it's pretty basic I think we need to add also a few textures I'm going to add a long text and for that I'm going to use ChatGPT. The flower is way too big in my opinion. So I'm going to make it smaller. Alright, let's try it. Alright guys, so for some reason mm, the flower is not working for me. I don't like it. I'm going to try to put it somewhere else. Uh, if not, I'm going just to delete it because I feel like this is way cooler. I'm going to try to put it like way smaller here. Yeah.
Oh, I think it could fit like, I, I'm going to look for a palm tree, which I think it could fit perfectly there. I don't know, just like over there. Alright you guys, so I think I'm done. I am actually loving it. The palm tree looks amazing in here, I think. I'm going to add a few more textures to see if we can create a unique image. Because uh, now I feel like it's looking um, not cohesive, let's say. And I'm going to try into a mock-up uh, and see how it looks. Okay, so now let's try this uh, into this mockup I found. All right, you guys, I love it. I think I'm loving it. Um, yeah, I think it looks really good. So let me know in the comments. Alright you guys, so that's it for today. I hope you guys loved it. If you made it to the end of this video, please subscribe for more videos like this and let me know in the comments if you guys would you buy it. And I see you into the next video. Goodbye!